Yeah, baby, we're starting the podcast right now. We're back. You know what, dude, live. Welcome, everybody, to the show. YKW. I started the social media and podcast. <laughs> the fact. The YKW Dude Podcast. YKWD is back again. Old school, back in the day, where it all started. Before them all, YKW. YKWD. This podcast is so fun and crazy. It has no rules. Shut up. You're ruining this. Where's the bandana, man? Sorry, it's a comedy podcast. This isn't NPR. That's what this podcast does. Is there any better show? This is the original. Original. Welcome, everybody, to a special edition of YKWD. Bachelor edition. Today, I will be attempting to marry... Our guest. I'm going to try to sway him to be my man. And I'll be his gal. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this special edition. Bachelor edition of YKWD. Welcome. Welcome. Hi, sweetie. How are you? How are you? Great. Thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. You look fantastic. Thanks. I didn't know where You to look go great. Out. I love the black on black <laughs> on black. Hello. Headphones, hold on. I have, we have uh, champagne. Amazing. We have uh, Zin. Great. Keep us going. Oh, there you go. Nice. Nice Zin. It's a blueberry Zin. I heard you like blueberries. Yeah. Who told you that? You never mind. <laughs> you never mind. Uh, today... Uh, let's, Danny, introduce our guest. We have, uh, Jeff Akiri on today. Who is? Uh, very funny comic. Yes. And two days ago, I think, was it two days ago? Just got engaged yes. to, uh, The Bachelorette. Yeah. The Bachelorette. For, yeah. From two Florida. days ago. Yeah, I did. It's fresh. It is very fresh. I mean, it's right there. It's the first interview. The cement <laughs> hasn't dried yet. No. So I have time. Okay. Yeah. I have time. I'm going to spend this episode... Gasson, I'm going to spend this episode trying to woo you, and maybe, okay, maybe. <laughs> oh no, maybe you'll marry me at the end of this episode. All right, we'll see. Let's I'm going to do my damnedest to get you. You don't have to try that hard. I'll be honest with you. Really? Yeah. That makes me hard. That you said I don't have to try that hard. I already got we'll one, leave that there for now. One extra point. She never gets hard, dude. <laughs> she doesn't. Mm-mm. Unfortunately. No. In some cases. Right. Honestly, if she had a dick, Mwah. that would be. <laughs> I finally. can't wait till your publicist says you gotta edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta edit that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's no, part of my thing. So what do you look yeah. for in a guy? <laughs> Vagina. Vagina. Yeah. Uh truly. what type of vagina? <laughs> An Audi. Uh Audi. <laughs> Great. That's perfect. I have a hemorrhoid. This is gonna work oh. out. I'm right on course oh. right now. Man, I remember one time I I had one of those. I didn't know what it was. You, I was like, you had a hemorrhoid? Yeah, when I was a kid. <laughs> wow, yeah. Why were you playing with your asshole at a kid as a kid? You no, know, cleaning it up. What? With what? Toilet paper. And then I felt it. You felt it? The roid, yeah. Like a little bubble? Yeah. And what, did you play with it for a while, not knowing? I was convinced I was dying, and I didn't tell anybody. And then it went away. Really? And then, like, eight years later, I was like, eh, hemorrhoid. I'm like, and then he told me, and I'm like, I had one of those, and I thought I was, that was the end. I was it like, itched a lot, right? I think so. Yeah, hemorrhoids know. itch. It was like a decade ago. Yeah, you can get a uh, decade. I've changed my ways. <laughs> Way. Oh, my God. You were, how old were you a decade ago? 13? <laughs> <laughs> no, 27. Oh, my God. How old are you? I'm 37 in a couple 37 years. 37, and you're tying the knot. I am. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing. And you had a knot in your asshole 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, how every, things have changed. Every 10 years is a new knot. How great is life that, that 10 years ago, you were just a, a schmuck with a roid. Yep. You didn't even know what it was. You had a dirty asshole. I had roommates from, and roids. From <laughs> Roommates, that sounds like a great podcast, by the way. If this bachelorette thing doesn't work out, if I can't get you on my side and you wind up and this doesn't work out, you can start that podcast. Deal. Roommates and roids. So now you, you now to explain to me how this thing goes, man. How, how do you get to the point where you ask a woman, how long have you known her? <laughs> Five months. I'm going to throw it. <laughs> I made my wife. <laughs> I made my wife wait fucking 10 years. Yeah. Ten years. Yeah. As a comedian, 
Right? Was she in the business? She's, I mean, she was a reality star. Okay. And then she started. Oh, this is going to work out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, I was on stage at the, cell, the VU, and it was uh, the, com- the Village Underground for Comedy Cellar. And uh, uh, as I was on stage, I'm like, I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to, like, I'm really excited for this to work out. It's like two different tables. T- like, their glasses fell off the table and crashed on them. I'm like, that's not good. <laughs> that's not a good omen right there at all. Five months you met her. So yeah. t- when did you first meet her? I was in, uh, coming back from Hawaii. Yeah. And I was in my last day in Hawaii. I fell down. You and fell? I, I fell trying to save a girl. Well, he did, let me explain. He, let me no, no, hold on. Let me this explain. sounds fake. It's not fake. You got to come up with stories. <laughs> uh, let me tell you. Is it, are you practicing this for the Tonight Show? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. I was at uh, uh, doing the Blue Note in Honolulu. Yeah. And it was the last day. And I, uh, we were all outside. And the sidewalks were really high off the, the pavement. And some guy bumped this girl. We were all outside, like, talking after the show. And some guy bumped this girl. And she went to go fall. And I went to go stop her from falling. Yeah. And it was, like, one of those things where you ever, like, try to open a door and you misjudge the weight. Yeah. So you pull yourself toward the door. She was a little chubby Hawaiian girl. She wasn't. (laughs) Oh, sorry. I just, I'm not a strong guy. So I, (laughs) she was a normal sized lady and I just went with her and I put my hand behind her head so it wouldn't hit. You saved her. And she texted me like, thanks for saving my head. And I'm like, all right. And you hurt your leg. I hurt my, my hand. I got, uh, it like split my hand, my finger open. So I was in the hospital for three days. In In Hawaii. In Hollywood. Oh, you you flew back with a broken fucked up. I, it was Were you on the plane, bloody? No, no, no. It was like a small cut, but it got infected, so my whole arm swelled well, up. You got sepsis. I don't know what it was, but it's I was sepsis. It was just an infection. Say sepsis. No, I don't want to. It's sepsis. That feels. It's how my father died. Really? Yeah. Isn't my... that a hospital disease? Nah, you can get sepsis from anything. I think. I just. I think. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I was in the hospital for like three days, and then they had to like open my hand up and, and squeeze like, the pus clean out, it up, clean it all up. Ugh. It was gnarly was it worth it no saving, saving her no, yeah. no 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 i somebody <laughs> asked me that too i was like i would watch her fall and and like with joy really i would not have given it because i had to cancel a whole weekend of shows oh you had to oh such a dirt ball what you're such a shit comic. <laughs> what? what a shitty thing to say <laughs> well it started out such a beautiful story and then you're just an egotistical comic dude i had to cancel a fucking gig in, <laughs> in fucking poughkeepsie <laughs> i had to cancel san jose oh do you have to do a video on your thing sorry no. guys no, I did have my agent articulate a message. You have an Asian? A- I have an Asian. You have an Asian? I have an Asian manager. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, Is that better? An Mongolian agent. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Your agent, you had to cancel it? Yeah, I had to cancel it, and she like told me what to say on the internet. And I was just, just like, just say you're on the mend in the hospital. I'm like, all right. And then still people gave me shit. Well, of course they're going to give you shit. Yeah, but then I was in the hospital the last day. They finally figured out what was wrong and like had to open my whole finger up and take everything out. So where you met this girl on the plane with a broken hand, an infected broken hand? No, I was flying back. We had messaged on Instagram before. Oh, so you 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 hooked up in her DMs? That, she, I think I said like you were in, in New York. Well, like so how did you? So how did you? You saw her? Where'd you see her? On the on the Instagram. Yeah, but she how did started you, doing how did stand you first, up a little bit? How did you first know about her? Uh, I think she followed me. And she it, followed you, and it was one of those things where it's like you know how like the prominent people with a lot of followers it'll pop up on your yeah. The, you mean when you scroll through your likes and you see the check marks and it's hot and you <laughs> you go I'm going to talk to her and the, all yeah. the other people you ignore <laughs> yeah yeah in a more specific way yeah yeah, yeah the chubby housewife with a cat <laughs> fucking iPhone uh, photo you're like nah 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 yeah dude there's you know how many times I get like if I get mean messages I just screenshot. A photo from their profile and then just send it to them. I did that a couple of times. <laughs> when I was really fat, I remember this one guy called me fat. And then I just went to his Facebook page and got his fat wife and fat kids. <laughs> oh. And I, I just sent it back. I go, wouldn't it suck if people said shit about these people? And he goes, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, what, I've had that happen before where people have said mean things. And I'm like, what the hell was that, dude? Like in the DMs. And they're yeah. like, I don't know. I'm just going through a rough time. And I know. Like, I know. You forget that it's a real person. Like, well, not us, them. They forget that we're real people. Yeah, but they're just trying to fucking say something. Yeah. Now, you have uh, used to be fat face. Were you fat as a kid? Yeah. You were. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to be fat face. Wrinkly? Yeah. No, 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 no. I, as a fat person, I can smell another <laughs> oh, fat no. person. You can see the trauma. You can yeah. see all the lucky charms. I can smell it. I, you have. <laughs> you know what I mean? You have, uh, how, were you just chubby kid? I was a chubby kid. For yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I what? tried sports. And I, I would just like get upset. <laughs> Because they they like hit you in football, and I was like, that sucks. Yeah, it's called football. Yeah, yeah. You should play uh, basketball or maybe badminton. Yeah, five eight playing basketball. <laughs> badminton is good. 
Badminton's a good game. Yeah. So you you were chubby. What made you lose the weight? When did you lose all the weight? I honestly, I've always just been a little chub. Yeah. But then, like, I don't know, a couple of years ago, I started like started drinking getting, water. Started getting some heat. You were like, I gotta look good on stage. I was start. I honestly, you know what? That does make a difference. Like watching your footage. Yeah. I was like, oh no. Oh, you can't. You see my oh. last special? I was a tub of shit. <laughs> I can't see it. I didn't even edit it. I was like, it's good. Whatever you think. <laughs> what are you just came watching? I didn't know I was that fat. Um. So you you met you DM this girl and then yep. you met her. Did you meet her with your broken f- stupid hero yeah. finger? So we didn't meet in person. She was saying, "Let me come to the hospital and give you some stuff." No like, way. She was planning on coming there, like, "Oh, let me bring you some soup and all this stuff." And I'm like, "No." I was like, "I hadn't showered in three days." You fucking turned down soup. I know. I turned down her coming. That would have been a much better, cute meeting story. Oh my god, that would have yeah. been fantastic. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. with your stupid finger, your sepsis. Yeah. And she comes in. That would be. I got this cut to you. Oh god, this is a whole bunch thing. Yeah. From that. From that incident? Yeah. Oh, I, got, right. I got all beat up. And then we decided, we were just like talking, and then we just started, that first night, we just started texting in the hospital, like all night, like texting. Yeah. And that was like the best kind of first date, because I fucked up a lot of first dates, yeah. because I have ADHD, I have shitty memory. Yeah. So they'll be, I'll be like, I'll ask them about their siblings, and then an hour later, I'm like, so do you have any brothers or anything? And they're like, no, my two sisters I talked to you about. You know, like I forget a lot. Yeah. So during our conversation, I was able to I don't know back. if that's ADHD or they're just not interesting. That could be that. <laughs> it could be that, yeah, whatever. You hear wah, wah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't remember anything my wife talks about. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> listen, she doesn't listen to this, don't worry. So, so now she's on the, the explain, explain the bachelor shit to me. I don't know. I dude, I, three nights ago, I for some reason I got high and I looked up like a re, like a, a YouTube compilation of her. Yeah, I, and I was like, this isn't good for me because it's all these like six five Adonis men, and she's yeah. running and jump hugging them. She calls oh. them Jews. What? She calls them Jews. <laughs> <Did> she, <laughs> what? She, she, she Palestinian. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why did she call them Jews? What Jews? Who Jews? She just calls them hug jumps. That's like an industry term for a bachelorette. A hu- a huju a is a hug jump. Yeah, it's a thing. Yep, and it's something I cannot do for her. You can't. No, you can't. No, if she hu- hujued me, yeah, we'd both. Who the she'd floor. have to hold your head like you did to that girl, <laughs> yeah. or you break a finger. <laughs> yeah. So, she, so she, you saw these things of her on the show, mm-hmm. and did she win? No, no, she, she one of the didn't girls. even like even break top ten on Bachelorette, <laughs> oh, and then I'm sorry, on Bachelor, and then she got her own Bachelorette season. Really? Yeah. So, so she, was, she was the bachelorette. Yeah. So she was the one. Mm-hmm. And she she had a hook up with a guy at the end. Yeah. And she married him. She got engaged. She got she got engaged. So did you. Which doesn't mean shit. Doesn't mean shit. <laughs> That's why I'm here. I'm here, dude. I have very big. Oh my god, she married. She oh, married. Fuck. A, she no. Married, <laughs> oh my god, she married the fucking tip of the spear, dude. That's a that's a Navy Seal, bro. Oh wow, she got hurt. She got hurt. Oh, Dude, uh, something happened. Yeah, no, no, no. She actually made it. She's like, you know what? I'm not going for this type of guy anymore. <laughs> She's going with someone safe. I want funny. <laughs> I want fun. Wow, <laughs> dude. I mean, that is a fucking man. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, look at his lip. Oh, uh, now pull up a picture oh, of me. Hang pull up on. a picture of me. Next hang time. on. Let's stay on him for a second. I might give him. I might. Can we get him on so I can try to marry him? Wow, dude, he is. What does he do? Do you know? Did you go into his? Did you go into his spiral? No, I don't know. He's probably like does some stupid. Well, no, he doesn't. <laughs> he does not do something stupid. He does something dramatic and awesome. No, I'm sure he's. I a bet big he guy. saves girls on a daily basis. <laughs> I bet he would. I bet he her. saved this country a couple of times. Look <laughs> at his hair, dude. Wow, that yeah. fuck that. He's got like he's a white guy <laughs> with Dominican guy hair. Holy shit. Look at his smile. His teeth are perfect. His nose is so cute. Look at his nose. Let me see your nose. <laughs> Dude, you have you have gangster from the 30s face. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> ah, I married her, see? <laughs> ah, hey, I saved a girl. She was going to die, see? <laughs> yeah, boss. Yeah, boss. Wow. Wow. Can we find out what he did? My God. I'm sure I mean, how tall is she? Five two, she's five two. So he's got to be at least six feet, right? I'm sure. Yeah, he's six feet, dude. He's yeah. a fucking man. And look at his, look at her holding up the ring. What if, what if you are, what if you have photos of the same thing? No, <laughs> she, they're she not. Does, she does this. She only knows moves from the show. <laughs> hey, 
Okay. This is weird now, to look at. let me ask you a question. Did you give her a ring? I did. Is it like that? It's better. No. Mm-hmm. Is it? I don't know. Well, you had to make <laughs> You don't know if it's better? No, I have no clue. You didn't look at this photo and said it's better than that? She picked it out, the new one. She so. picked it out? Yeah. Wow. She went to the it's store. It's 100% better than that one. There's no way. Does she still get that one? I don't think so. I think you give it back, right? Uh, what? <clears throat> yeah, it's talking to the microphone, Danny. He's a Canadian wildlife manager. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. What a fucking dreamboat. What a dreamboat. <laughs> You're doing crowd work at the fucking VU, <laughs> and he's saving animals. You're a piece of shit. You're a dirty American fucking hunk of garbage. <laughs> wow, she got hurt. He hurt her bad. I don't know. I don't think so. No, I think she, she called it off. She called it off because he one. did something bad. You think so? I, I mean, know. wow, she's a smoker, dude. Now, what does she do? Uh, well, she was doing this. She used to be like a marketing person. A mark. So she's a professional. Bring that. Keep that up while we're talking. She. <laughs> yeah, keep that up. I want. I want that guy. Make that my screensaver. <laughs> On my phone, my iPad, and my Mac. <laughs> Holy God! Now she broke it up with him. Why? Did you ask? Um, no. I think I got a. You didn't ask why they. I think I did, but I don't think it's. I can say. Oh, you can't say. I don't think so. What do you do? I don't remember. She found some weird porn on his fucking computer. No, spread that. No, <laughs> no, that you do that. The they, they're just not. They just didn't get along. I think. I mean, it was also like you meet. How do you not get along with him? I don't know. He's saving animals in Canada. Sounds pretty stupid. I mean, what's it? Would you get mad that his 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 pomade was all over the bathroom? <laughs> what is he had too many abs? That was it, actually. Well, yeah. There's too many abs. His, his omelet was she's perfect. Lo- she's losing count. <laughs> I mean, this guy's nuts. Look at his hands. Oh, he's got little Taylor Swift bracelets like me. Oh, uh, look. Oh, uh, really? You, you must have bracelets, right? No. No, you got one little one. No. Um, dude, wow. He is a dreamboat. Mm-hmm. I mean, now is he, do they still, are they, let me ask you this question. Are they friends still? Uh, they talk on the phone every oh, day. No, I'm kidding. Oh, shit. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Shit. <laughs> I think they're like fine. Oh God! But they don't talk. Oh, no. how do you know? I don't think they talk. They talk. I don't know. Pizza Hut's been calling her a lot. Listen though. to me, dude. <laughs> Let me tell you something. They talk. No, they don't. you get no, You gotta, I think they do. They do maybe. Like, but it's not. Buddy, I'm she's trying. Married, to, she's gonna marry okay, me. I think. Listen, I'm trying. No, you're marrying me. I'm trying to end this right now. <laughs> oh, that's that's what listen, it is, buddy. She, <laughs> you. If you think, let me tell you something right now. This night, look how nice he is too. You tell his energy is perfect. Seems like a nice guy. He's probably, it, I mean, you know, he got engaged to her, but it was also on the show, so it happens. They got engaged so quick, you know, that yeah. never works out. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, but you, how long have you been engaged for? How long? No, we just got... Yeah. Just, how long you know each other? Months. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's like three seasons. That's, <laughs> dude, listen to me, dude. Listen, bro. Listen. Listen to me. <laughs> you got to get him out of the pick. <laughs> oh, you think I got to kill him? No, 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 no. You have to kill him. Settle down. <laughs> I mean, you got to have somebody else do it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you don't do it. Obviously. Buddy, you got to make sure they're not yapping. Sure. I'm telling you right now, my wife's like boyfriends that she used to be with, I'm not worried about. They're from dudes, drug addicts from Boston. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If that was lurking around <laughs> in the woods around my house, you get into some stupid fight, and then all of a sudden, he hits her up on a DM. Hey, just, hey, I'm happy for you. Oh, I wish I was. Uh, I wish I was. She, she's with my sisters and my mom right now. Oh, you think that matters? <laughs> you think that matters? I think that helps. Oh, you think it helps? Mm-hmm. Yeah, does your mom love her? Yeah. Does your sister love her? Uh-huh. Nobody said anything bad about her? No. Nobody. No, she's killing it. You should call him. Call him? He's probably got a couple things to say. Let me DM Instagram. Dude, dude call him. please DM him right now. <laughs> no. I'm going to. No. I'm go- yes, I'm going to become friends with him. No. I'm going to marry him. I'm actually saving this. Fit. Go ahead. Go ahead. Check Can out his Instagram. Zin- Can I have that Zin back, please? No. Maybe he likes blueberry Zins. No. I want This is mine now. I'm drinking the champagne. I'm you, having the Zin. Are you, let me ask you a question. Honest to God, though. Like, if mm. I... She looks adorable. She looks so pretty. But if... <laughs> oh, no. If she was... What is she, Jump Jewin', what do they call it? <laughs> Jumping jump, Jews? Jump, jump. Jumping Jews at the college? What do they call it? <laughs> Who'd you? Who'd you? If you had such a bad, did you change that? Hug jump. It doesn't even hug? sound the way you, yeah. Did you, have, did you see the hug jumps? That was the thing. It was like a compilation on YouTube. How many like, hug jumps did she do? It was do? her like making out, hug jump. Oh, they this, want you to hug jump. That's this like a big video thing. video of her kissing a guy? So, tons of it. And what, did she close her eyes? Yeah. I mean, was it a, 
TV kiss? Or oh, no, it? they were like making out. Oh, suck it. There's a lot of that. Uh, how many times did you masturbate to that? <laughs> no, no, no. If anything, I, I, I shut it down. I was you, like, I don't know why the fuck I did that. It you was had like a 1 shut a.m. I was like, why am I doing this right now? <laughs> yeah, you can't stop. You couldn't go to bed I, that night, yeah. could you? It was rough. Oh, my God. I have no idea. Now, let me ask you a question. I just got to know this. Is he a good kisser? Who? Him. I don't know. Can I see the video? <laughs> oh, you're saying, oh, for videos of that? Danny, is there hug jumping videos or her? I'd love to see this. No. A oh, nice... you probably could. You yeah. pull Joe's up. pulling it up. Oh. <laughs> why did I do this? I did this for myself. I don't know why I did this. <laughs> Where's the <But>, zoom? <laughs> so, so th- how long have they not been together? When was the show? Um, you like say f- six months ago. I'm going to throw Four up. years ago? Hmm. Yeah, like 2020. Oh, yeah, that's over. Yeah. Yeah, it's 100% over. Yeah. So that she she hasn't been on TV in 4 years. Right. No, she did uh, F Boy Island too. <laughs> <laughs> She's a professional TV dater. Yeah. She's a, you married him. That's why it's a big deal. We got engaged because I, I locked I locked down her. You know? I don't know if you locked it down. Dude. I did. I don't That's know mine. You, you better film it. It's mine. <laughs> you better film it. You better make it. You better sell it as a pilot. <laughs> I want to. I want to. She's gonna. We're gonna sign that marriage. Ah, oh, buddy, that's so funny. Sooner than later, dude. Listen, she was on. What is it called? F Boy Island. Yeah. What's that? What's the F stand for? Yeah, it's the Nikki Glaser one. What's, a, what's the F stand for? Like Fuck Boy Island. Oh my fucking god. Yeah. She was on fuck a show called Fuckboy Island. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I mean, who was on Fuckboy Island? The, you know. What was the what was the premise of <laughs> I don't know what the premise Oh, the was she, I think it's like you have to like figure out who's there to really date and who's there just to be a fuckboy. How do you figure that out? <laughs> you have to like talk to him and like you have to be like I think you're just here and then they'll be like actually, I'm here to date. And, like, oh, really? I think that was it. I think it, I watched apparently So nobody fucks. I'm sure they do. Oh god. Was she the only girl on it? No. There's no, a bunch Jesus. Of- it's called Fuckboy Island. <laughs> 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 They're all just surrounding her. It's gangbanging island. <laughs> Gang bang- <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> ah, shit, man. Bring this up. Is oh, this no. The- oh, here we go. The old... What is it called? Oh, again? this is a date in the rain. This is something. Oh, different. she's so pretty. That, like, tugs me towards you every time I see you. Oh, God. I hope she says the same thing I'm to you. I'm so excited about us. I'm so excited about you. Today. Oh, pause one just second. Did she say any of this shit to you yet? Way. No. <laughs> Shut up. I'm just, oh, who, is that the other bachelor? I don't know who that is. Let me see. Let me see. She didn't kiss him, though, right? Wait, she told me he was. that was her cousin. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Let me see. Play it. Happy I told you how I'm feeling. Yeah. Me too. Dude, you should reenact this for role play. Okay, that's a. T- oh, what oh. is this? I don't like this. Oh. I don't like this. Oh, what are right. you doing? What are you talking about? It's out <laughs> the fucking world, dude. You think I you take know, this myself? Really this is like live cheaters right here. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Oh, no, she's oh, uh, she's gonna kiss you like that. Has she kissed you like that? No. Has she done that? She I does that all the time. Her. That's and her thing? She, yeah. Been... Oh, man. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Dude, you're a better man than me. I need to see Jump Boy. I need to see Jump Juice. <laughs> <They're>... <laughs> Compilation of Jump Hugs. They're, yeah, what was it? I think it was like, I forgot the name. But like, it was the first video I looked at. It was like a few minutes long. And I was like skipping through it like, what? This sucks. So Yeah, it does suck. It, it sucks that, that it's on the internet. But it, I mean. Whatever. It's not just one show, though. She's on The Bachelorette, right? Yeah, it was The Bachelorette and The Boy Island and The Bachelor. So she's, she's on out three? With, she's on another one? She was on The Bachelor. Oh, the original didn't win. Didn't win. Then got, got booted. Her own season. Why'd she get booted? Was she like towards the end at least? I don't know. You didn't look at I didn't watch. No. Buddy, this is stuff you need to know. No, I think it's better. I don't know. Why? Because it's it's the past. And I don't want to, you know, <laughs> I, if there was like a record, if you could see every date your wife ever went on. Yeah, I went on it. You I, would? I'd call her a slut every fight we got into. <laughs> yeah, you pig. At least I didn't get finger popped in the butthole at a Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> in Quincy, Massachusetts by a plumber. Yeah, I'd fucking watch. You wouldn't watch? Yes, I'd watch it. I couldn't. I couldn't. I'd rather not know. Really? No, I'd rather not know. I'd rather not. I'd just rather have our our life and then <laughs> So didn't he and him and the other one. <laughs> like would you would you if there was a guy dating like a girl who's like an OnlyFans model or something? Yeah. Like where they were like, you know, throwing it all out there on the internet. Yeah. Wouldn't that be like and they're still doing it. Okay, here's what happened. I wouldn't date that person. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, ah, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's shitty for me to be like, well, it could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be worse. Yeah, it's kinda not. Listen, <laughs> I'll tell you why it's not worse. At least they're just fucking this is 
this, this is, is love. This is intimate. This is fucking dude. I'd rather look at me. Look at me. Look no, at me. Uh, look at me. Okay. Look at me. Come here. Come here. Come here. No. Look at me. Look at me. Come here. Look at me. What? I'd rather watch my wife suck somebody's dick <laughs> than grab his cheeks and slowly kiss him. <laughs> Intimately, do you understand okay. me? I agree. It's not great. It's not great. It's dude. not great to know that it's there. Oh my god! But it's the internet. It'll go away. It's not. It's actually real life. That <laughs> happened. <laughs> That's a reality show, dude. That's not That's going the thing. anywhere. It's a reality show. Reality shows are, you know, what are aren't one hundred percent like reality. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 you know. This is good. Is this is what your pu- your your Asian told you to say. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say in no real. <laughs> This is why I want you to say, uh, it's not real. And tell your fans, it's I'm in hospital recovering. <laughs> um, am I getting canceled for that? <laughs> um, wow, dude. Is there any, any, is the, can I see the end of The Bachelor when she married him? Is that up? Got did engaged. you watch that? No. Again, I love that you keep going engaged. They did get engaged. How long were they engaged for? I think like less than three months. Three months. So they live together. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> she lives, so, she yeah. She saw him shower? I think, yeah. Mm. Probably. So this is it right here. They probably had sex, dude. Uh, buddy, not probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of the thing. Oh, no. Is this the wedding? What is this? Uh, this, is the, this is what you're going to go through. You should, Buddy, just look around. See if there's any, any things you can grab that you may add to your wedding. That's a guy. Oh, my God. She married someone else? <laughs> I don't know what this is. Oh, my God. She's been with more. She's married more than one person. Oh my, you don't know what this is, dude? I've never seen this before. Oh my god! <laughs> this is. Uh, and he's smoking too! Oh my god! Oh god, she's nervous again. I got mine. Oh, she's got. She wrote love. A, a love thing. This is all TV stuff. This is not okay, TV. This is TV. This is, this is a what lot of TV of her getting married, I dude. This is TV. <laughs> I trust you with my heart and promise to protect yours. you. You should. Can I say, I you want to be funny? You. Quote for quote. quote for quote. This guy. <laughs> quote for quote. You want to be you? If you have a funny fucking bone in your body, <laughs> you will quote for quote. <laughs> what a metal fucking bit. Raul's fucking <laughs> vows. <laughs> His name Please, is Justin. It's on the. Oh, so I don't fucking know. His name's Justin. <laughs> Raul. Ah, it looks like a Raul. I didn't know. Let's hear what he says. Quote for quote. What a dude. fun bit it would be just for her. Just to piss her off. No one would laugh and it would just make her angry. Oh, That's... her mom would cry. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> and then <laughs> then signed from Jason. <laughs> Whatever his fucking name is. Let me hear what this guy says. Through all of life's ups and downs. <laughs> you gotta do this. And do everything in my power to keep that infectious <laughs> smile on your face. <laughs> Our bond is sacred. <laughs> vow to cherish your kind. Practice it right now. <laughs> no. Thoughtful, loving heart for the rest of our days together. Oh, God. Oh, look, he licked his lips. You see that shit? That was some sexy shit. Let me hear. I hope hers are the same. <laughs> what if she has the same vows? Oh, man. What if it was like, I don't think I'll ever have sex with anybody as good as you. All right, here we go. Oh. Justin. I promise to love you every day. I promise to always chase you, to cherish you, to protect you. From this moment on, her promise stinks. You are the paint that colored my world. <laughs> the paint that colored my world. The canvas. So let's paint something beautiful. Oh, I hope she uses the same lines. I hope it's a combination of all the time she's gotten married on TV. That's fucking great. Look at you. You're heated. I'm not angry. I mean, you didn't. I haven't seen this. Oh, yeah. There's a good. Thank you for getting rid of that and keeping that up. Appreciate you did. <laughs> well, we, we still haven't found him. I want his. Uh, dude, his is good. I bet his was great. Find that one. Buddy. Good. Oh, she's shame. been married on TV. What was that? Was that Fuckboy? <laughs> was that Fuckboy Island? I don't know. I, oh, apparently I was at my sister's house. When I was visiting family, and my sister loves reality TV, so she knows who she is. Right. And she, uh, we apparently watched her episode, yeah. and I was like on my computer, and I was like, this shit's so stupid. I was like making fun of it. And you didn't know and her I, I didn't know it was her. Yeah. You didn't know it was her? Uh-uh. And it, but you were engaged to her? No. Oh, you didn't no, know who was? This was a year ago. So you didn't ago. even know? Mm-mm. And you were like, this is the dumbest thing ever. And now- yeah, I was making fun of the show. I never liked reality TV. I never got into it, you know? So the, the person on the TV, this is stupid- that's the person you're marrying. Mm-hmm. This is life is weird, man. It is. Life is weird. I think it is. It now, was, yeah. Are uh, you nervous at all that she's been married twice? 
Engaged. Enga- sorry. <laughs> once. Engaged once. Okay. Dude. Married once. No, that's not marriage. That was like a, a reality show, like pretend vows thing. It wasn't really a marriage. There's How do you know? there. What are you talking about? That's a fucking... Sh- they, they said no, vows. They didn't say I do. Can you play the end, please? Play the end. Are There's we no getting... I do's. It was just like you a role You don't know play. that. It was like a role she play She didn't thing. don't. <laughs> she didn't say I don't. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely I maybe in there. <laughs> I could see in her eyes. She was pushing him away. Uh, buddy, she said, I want you to be the paint... <laughs> she said, I want you to be the paint for my paintings <laughs> or some shit. Play it. Play it. This is where they say, I now pronounce That's you. you. Husband, Husband and, and wife. wife. <laughs> you be now kiss your bride. bride. She's a bride. Did she not? She not? Oh, my. Married. It happened. It happened. It's not. It's not. It's fucking real. It's, it's all like pretending, dude. It's for fun. Look Whatever at you have fun. to fucking say, Jeff. This Jeff. Is oh my God, she has wedding. How many albums does she have? Does she have a bookshelf full of wedding albums? She has a room I can't go in. Really? No, no. I bet both of them are in it. <laughs> I bet they're both in it, just working out every day. <laughs> oh, I, I know mean, there was like one episode they had to paint each other naked or something like that. What? Yeah, yeah. Stop yeah. it! I think there was something like that. So I don't know. What was this? By the I way, I don't know what that was. You looked it up, Danny. What is it this? Uh, it's it's just, just Katie and Justin exchange vows and cake. Yeah. See. Doesn't say get married. You didn't know she was married to this guy. She's not married to him. How do you know? Because she did, she would have told me that, <laughs> buddy. She didn't, buddy. <laughs> buddy, she's not lying to me. If there was video of my wife marrying fucking Raul <laughs> on YouTube, I'd be like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, well, it's you know, it's expected for what she did. She, was buddy, I'm sorry, you're creator. uncomfortable, right? <laughs> you're you're, on, you're, you're fucking knees tapping. <laughs> I mean, you're holding on to the side of the chair. You're sucking on a zin. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, this is wild. I mean, she didn't fucking know. <laughs> you didn't know that know. she it's... married what's his name, Jason? Justin. Justin. She didn't, she married a guy, and it's on YouTube. She got a ring. She's got how many rings has she got? She's got three rings. That's to, she's like Tom Brady numbers, dude. She... <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Buddy. Uh, so we're excited. We're really looking forward to Yeah, I mean, sure she is. she's getting another <laughs> ring. <laughs> That's what she does for work. Buddy. That, she just, dude, her, her agent was like, listen, comics are big right now. <laughs> you need to marry a comedian. He has a lot of followers. Oh, this is her Asian? Uh, no, she has an Asian too. <laughs> What's uh, up? <laughs> dude. Uh, she she's got a lot. Now she's an influencer. She's on Instagram. She's got yeah. a lot of followers. Mm-hmm. Who has more followers? You or her? I do. You do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is what? all bad sides. Oh no! Oh, you're saying? Oh uh, no! <laughs> what? It's, no, Buddy, you're not thinking this through, man. Where are you from? Here. You're from New York. I'm, I grew up on Long Island, but then I you're uh, Long Island. Mm-hmm. You're Long Island. I would say white trash, right? Yeah. White yeah. Tr- white trash, Long Island. You long dude. You're Long Island. It's, it's Long Island. Island. It's Long Island. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not Manhattan. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, I'm, it's not Westchester. My dad worked in. Queens. <laughs> uh, he did? What'd your dad do? He ran, uh, you ever heard of, you ever been to like Ridgewood? You ever see like the Flower Ama building? Yeah. That was his. Oh, no like, shit. That was, he worked for his dad there and then they had like locations so he would like run. So, <laughs> wedding. <laughs> it's so funny that she's, she was married to somebody and you didn't know about it. She, that's not marriage. Buddy, tell yourself whatever you want, Jeffy. That's not marriage. Buddy, that's under God. I do. We're no, married. They said this is where they would say. You're my wife. This is where they would say. They did it like a. Uh, it's mock. You think it's mock? Yes. That's what. That's the word. It's just like a. It's like a, a faux wedding. A faux wedding. Yeah. It's not real. They're just rehearsing. Really? Mm-hmm. It's faux. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Whatever, dude. Yeah. Whatever. You, I'm. I'm cool with that. I'm. I'm confident. You're not gonna ask her about this later tonight. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have a little conversation. <laughs> <a> little <bit. laughs> it's probably gonna be <laughs> <laughs> your knees dapping again, dude. <laughs> She's literally with my mom and my sisters right now. Oh like, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna call so, her and be like, "Hey, when you get a minute, just I'd love to chat about some stuff." All right, I'll be her. You be you, and call me on the phone. Who the fuck is Raul? What? <laughs> Excuse me. Honey, you're my paint. 
buddy, you're my, baby, you're my paint that I want to pay paintings, beautiful paintings with, whatever. What was with that wedding? Was that real? What was that? What wedding? Like, what wedding? It was like a thing where you guys exchanged vows or something, and you you said that you're gonna paint his paint his portrait. Oh, you saw that? Yeah, with his name was Justin. It says you exchanged vows. Yeah. Um. Well, I was gonna tell you about that. <laughs> I was hoping you didn't find that. When were you going to tell me? I was going to tell you right after I told you about Jason and Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been married five times. No. It's kind of my thing. What? Yeah, I'm a Jew jumper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> buddy. <laughs> buddy, this is falling apart. I mean, Debbie. You're the one I'm, taking I'm, the I'm, Jenga pieces out. I'm just saying. <laughs> when I... <laughs> This football season, stop being a baby and place some bets on the game already. With my bookie, it couldn't be easier. With promos like weekly risk-free boost, even if you've never bet on anything in your life, you can definitely handle this. With risk-free boost, if your bet hits, you win big. If it doesn't, don't worry. My bookie will give you a full refund. How awesome is that? They took all the scariness out of it. I never did this stuff because I didn't know enough about the game and about the, the, lead, the sport and the teams. Now, I bet it's so fun. It makes it easy. And it makes it easy to win money. How awesome is that? Even if you're not a huge football fan, you can still get in on the fun. My bookie has tons of games you can play, like blackjack or European roulette. You can do all kinds of stuff. It's the best. You got to try it. When you're ready to get started, just click the link in the show notes, sign up, and you're ready to bet. Use promo code DUDE to claim a bonus that doubles your money on your very first deposit. You heard that right. Double your money with code DUDE before you even place a bet. MyBookie Plus is the lock of the century. Bet on anything, anywhere, anytime. And make your season a winning season. When I first heard about this, I was like, oh, that's wild. This guy's marrying the bachelorette. This is crazy. And I was like, oh, I'm going to try to marry him. I want nothing to do with you now. Because okay? <laughs> oh, of the guys? Man, you probably need me now. I probably, you're probably thinking about it now. And I don't know if I, no. wanna, I don't know. I don't know if I want to marry you anymore. I don't think I want to take you from her. I think you're, you're damaged goods, dude. <laughs> wow. What are you going to, so you're going to, you're going to have to bring this up. I mean, you, she got, <laughs> she got fake married to somebody. Yeah, that was that. I I, I don't. I do not care. <laughs> I don't. I don't care. I don't think it was real. It was all part of the show. She explained to me what how they kind of lead you into bits. Really, you know, on what show? It's all of it. On on all the shows. All of them. They like. They'll be like, okay, now you have to go hug jump him. You have to right. hoo him. Hoo you him. So that's on the shows that you knew about. Yeah, there's only there's Bachelor, Bachelorette, and F Boy Island, and that one. Yeah. Whatever that was. Yeah. You don't even know what that was. And then there was the other show she did. I forgot. She uh, did it was a called, nut- um, What? Yeah, it was called Trying to Escape Without Getting Fucked. It was this... Um... <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Make it through the park without getting raped? <laughs> What's, What's next? <laughs> this is Island Show. Hanging out with P. Diddy without fucking getting banged in the ass? What is next? Guess that boner. There's another yeah. show she did. Try not to get trafficked? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What? She was. A- <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. It's dude. not. It's. It's not. Yeah. I, Listen, don't, I honestly don't. It's not this. I'll tell you this. It's not the conventional. It's not conventional. Yeah. You know, it's not. Um. You know. What would, what would be conventional though for a comedian? Well, you meet a girl. You can, Where? All right. Hang on. Maybe you know waiting tables or at your job or at a you know at a bar or something. And but it's like a, what about a comic. I'm going to say, I'm going to say this. You meet a girl at a bar, or one of the, you know, or at, at a show or at your day job, you know, and then you kind of date and then you break up, but then you date again and then you kind of work through things and then you kind of move in together and you see how that works. And then you go to another place together and then, you know, then you decide, I, you know, I, this is serious. I don't, I want to be with you. I want to be with you too. And then, um, then you, you, you say, you know, after a few years, you're like, you know what? This is real. Okay. I ha- You know what? You haven't fucked somebody in seven years, and I tried not to fuck somebody in seven <laughs> years. Is that right? I tried my hardest. How, lo- how old were you when you got married? <laughs> That's a good question. I've been married 17 years, October 10th. So do the math. Autistic Danny. I'm not that kind of autistic. Oh, shit. 
Sorry. What's your power? I just uh, can't make eye contact. Yeah. Okay. And he can do magic. Uh, what is that? 17 years. That's uh, 2000 what? Five? 2007. 2007. So you're in your 30s? I met 20s? her. I Late met 20s? her. I met her. No. I'm, I'm 53. I met her waiting tables back in Boston. I'm talking. I was still. I had five. I had five jobs and I was doing comedy at like the Colloons and Nick's. I was doing open mics. Okay. When I met her, I was doing open mics. And we dated, and then I broke up with her for a hotter chick, and uh, younger and hotter. And then uh, we dated again. Then I moved to New York, and I broke up with her. And then she went to, uh, uh, she moved to L.A. with her friend from Boston. And then I went to L.A. to film a pilot. We kind of hooked up again. And then her friend, her roommate left and left a high drive. So I moved in with her because I booked a pilot out there and I lived with her. We hooked up again. We started being, then we got an uh, apartment together in LA to see how it would work. And then we got another apartment together. And then I was like, I got to get out of LA. I got to go back to New York and become a comic. This LA fucking blows. Yeah. And I, I was like, you can come with me if you want. She's like, I do. So she came with me, moved back here. I was a piece of shit for years. And then finally, it was like, listen, I can't be with you. Either you want to be with me and make it serious or not. And I was like, you know what? I got to go to therapy. I got to work out my bullshit because uh, I love you and I do want to be with you. And I did. And then a few years later, I was like, I love you. I want to marry you. And then we went and got married. And then uh, we had a kid uh, at 42. I was like, at 40, I was like, let's have a kid. And then 42. That would be, to me... So that's what your example of like, here's a conventional. That was just a exactly conventional what- or something that would last. Bobby, do you think that if she was on like a different type of reality show, like Storage Wars, that would be better? <laughs> yeah, I think Storage Wars. I mean, she's she's going to be on Cheaters next. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me in a van looking at an iPad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Her saying the same shit to him that she said to you. <laughs> you paint his world too. <laughs> if you don't fucking read those vows, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, look at dude. You never know. You know what, dude? Listen, dude. It's not bad, dude. Uh, <laughs> you just wait, watched. Wait, I'm your, 37. She's you just watched your fiance get married. <laughs> I did. I did. Thank you for that. It's <laughs> good. That's probably one of the funnest things that's ever happened <laughs> on my fucking podcast. Your fucking face going, "What's this?" I never. That's saw like that. <laughs> that's like watching you. It's like if you somebody on a video, your father jerking off. <laughs> What's this? It's dad. Oh shit! Wow, dude. My God, you could have played fucking Metallica songs with that double bass foot you were tapping away. <laughs> I was. I hated I mean, that. Bro, I, I, I mean, you, so you are going to talk to her about this, right? No? There's yeah. not really much to talk about. If I were to bring it up, I'd bring it up like um, like that we, talk, we talked about it. And I was like, what was that? And she explained to me. It was probably like a, a thing on the show where they're like, okay, now you have to pretend. Right. You know, they do like a thing called homecoming or like... Whatever I forgot what it's called, something like that, where you have to meet the other people's family. Yeah. And shit. Like and she's like, doing today. <laughs> no, she posted about that. She's like, he's doing homecoming this She's doing homecoming her, right now with your family. mom and your sister, right? She now. is. <laughs> she surprised them. That was pretty sick. Yeah. Because she, she's a professional. <laughs> She's, she's a goddamn pro. I'm going to surprise them. I learned that technique, episode seven <laughs> on <laughs> Fuckboy Island. <laughs> She's she's perfect, and you can never change my mind. Buddy, that. now I, look at she seems adorable. I'm sure it's going to work out. <laughs> Don't slow look away. I didn't. Don't, did you I? Did. did I? Did you I, did. Say it again without slow looking okay. away, dude. It's going to work out. It's real. It seems genuine, and the love you guys have for each other is is palatable. I can feel it. I <laughs> see. I don't like that. I don't like the dis the, the thousand yard stare. The second what? you're done saying oh, it, I'm sorry. Did I do another thing? Tell, say that it's going to work out, yep. and that you think I'm funny. Uh, <laughs> okay, let me tell you something. I, I, your marriage is 100 percent going to work out, and you're one of the funniest guys going right now. <laughs> God damn it. Well, thank you, and I respect it. I'm really glad to be here. <laughs> I. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. Look, you, here's the real deal, bro. You never know what's gonna work out. People who are in love and blah blah blah, it, none of that shit matters. You, you never know. know when you find the one. I mean, the fact that she found the one a few times wasn't the one, right? I never got engaged. I you could engaged. be the one. I mean, 
Go ahead. This, the is, gonna be, this is going to hurt my feelings. The odds are in your favor because she's tried a lot. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's the thing is, she yeah. tried professionally. I mean, with guys that were six three, Adonis, gorgeous, dude. awesome, beautiful, Great guys. and now she's trying you. Yeah, right. This is a safe bet right here. <laughs> I don't win first, but I'll finish the race. <laughs> I hope she invites them over for a pool party. No, and they come over shirtless. <laughs> no, and you're sitting there with your sh- with your shirt on. You have a swim <laughs> yeah, shirt. I was- Honey, take your shirt off. I'm good. <laughs> I was a kid in the pool with the shirt on. For Me sure. too, dude. I'm oh, yeah. an adult in the pool. I don't know what we thought we were doing because it only. It only snugs in better. It only oh. shows the curves even oh, more. Oh, what a fucking segue. That was a good one. That, <laughs> was, that was beautiful crowd work right there, dude. I don't know, man. We were fat, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, you know what I wanted to bring up? Anything else? Uh, <laughs> there's other things I wanted to talk about. Ah, I mean, ha- but I, I would, me personally, because I am, look at dude, I'm suspicious of everybody, you know? If it would be hard, my rule was always never date a person with a headshot. Oh, that's a fun one. Yeah, I, I just didn't want... I, what about a realtor? There's only... Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know what? No. <laughs> no, you can't. No. No? No, the fact that she went and went... Yeah. And she was not that one, that one, I'll do that one. Yeah. Can you make my neck a little thinner on that one? No, I just feel like there's only room for one drama mama in a relationship. And when, there's, when there's two drama mamas, which uh, it can get a little fucked up sometimes. Yeah, but, yeah. But you have, a, you have a more jovial personality than me. I'm a fucking dickhead from Boston. You know what I mean? I've been hurt so many times. I've sure. hurt people a lot. You look like you haven't hurt girls. No. No. How many girls have you had? Had? Yeah. How many girlfriends? Oh, like girlfriends? Serious? serious? I'm not asking how, like, many, how much times you fuck girls? Four. Four serious girlfriends. I would say three to four. At, at, were they in the, business, in the show business? No. This is your first? Uh, One of them was. And then she slept with her director and cheated on me. Dude, you're, I mean, you, I mean, God gives signposts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She, she was a director in something that you were in with her? No, 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 no. She was like an improviser. We lived together. She was an improviser. And then she was like, I was so naive. She was the one that told me that. Gullib- no. Yeah. <laughs> me. She was the one that told me gullibility is a sign of intellect. And then she cheated on me like months later. I remember thinking, I'm like, yeah, my girlfriend told me gullible is a good thing. <laughs> and she was like just kind of like talking and like making out with her director a lot. Like she'd get home from rehearsal at like 4 or 5 a.m. And that's like, not a good sign. No. And yeah. then I found out. Uh, I found out when I was like, edit- she came to visit my, she met my family for the first time. My sister now, she was pregnant with my niece. Eight, eight how years many, ago. how many women have your family met? Uh, <laughs> one, two, three, f- this feels like the fourth or the fifth at the most. Right. They don't meet a lot. No. Cause my mom immediately like attaches on if she's like, all right, is this the one? Yeah. You know, she had, but my, my sister's got like privy to a few, like right. I don't like that one. You know? So, so you, so how did you find out she was cheating on you? Uh, I was editing my sister. We took a video of my sister announcing that she was pregnant to us. Yeah. And I took, the, I was editing the video on her laptop after oh. we got back from vacation, like from them. Yeah. And I, as I was opening up her laptop, all the text messages came in on the <sighs> Mac from him saying, I wish I can't, like, I can't wait to see you, all this stuff. And then the one that got me was, it was 4th of July weekend. When he wrote, you're the paint. <laughs> You're all the colors in my painting, and I can't wait to paint the fucking future with no. you. No. She used his line on him? No. <laughs> okay, go ahead. She goes, uh, <laughs> uh, she goes, I wish I was here with you instead. And I was like, at my mom's house? Like that, you know? Yeah, that's... But then it was all this, this whole big, all this shit. And then we, I, like, I found it all, and I'm like, I'm done. I'm out. So I packed up all my shit and put it in my car. But I left, like, two suitcases, like, two and a half suitcases by the door so yeah. that I could leave you know what i mean so yeah. when she got home i could i was waiting on a chair so she'd come in look to the right see the suitcases look at me at the chair and she'll be like oh no he found out yeah she came in didn't see the suitcases looked at me and all i said was how dare you that's all i said yeah and she's like what and i explained to her what i found yeah and then i like left and i grabbed my shit and then i ran down the hallway and like went to my car and she was chasing me and i was like yeah you better chase me and i get to my car and she screams my name and i go no, what she was chasing you hey, hey hey those are my suitcases no worse <laughs> she goes you forgot this this one. And she's no! Like, oh, shit! I like, Yo, I thought you were coming to stop me, but she's like, yeah, don't forget everything. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Yeah, he's coming over later. I don't want any evidence. I don't have to hide your photos in my drawer. Yeah, but then they're, now they're married. And so I was the bad guy. I was the guy in the way that was like, come on, babe, let's go. Right. He was like, oh, only if you were with me. And yeah, now I mean, together. you never know. You never know. I don't. I have no malice toward them at all. I'm no. happy for him. Yeah, of course. It was. Imagine being with her. Jesus Christ. Imagine not finding out. Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah. That would suck. But this is all this. We have video of her wedding too. No, uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm so glad I cheated on him with you. <laughs> yeah, and then I didn't really date anybody. I, I've the longest. I didn't have like long relationships. I had like two over a year. Yeah. Like oh no, I'd say like three over a year, one over almost two years. Yeah, and that was it. And how did you know this was the one? Just how easy it is to hang out. And yeah. I think it was oddly enough, I bought her a Steam Deck, like one of those video game things. I'm you sorry, know? what? A Steam Deck is what it's called. The really expensive $1,000 video game thing? It's like 500 bucks. Okay. But I bought her one of those because she's like, I would play because I got one. Like we, Me and my friends have them when we're on the road and shit. It's really fun. You think those guys play video games? <laughs> you think fucking Captain America has a Steam Deck? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> he's no. too busy saving a mountain lion. <laughs> no, yeah, he drinks hot water in the morning. <laughs> yeah. yeah he, he's, he's, a, he's a real good guy at that. <laughs> hey, I got you. <laughs> I got you. Handheld video game system, <laughs> so you can play with me and my buddies. There's nothing worse than when someone tells you something back to you, and you get to hear what it sounds like, <laughs> and you're like, "Yeah, no, I guess you're right." <laughs> he built he built her a log cabin in the woods of Canada. He could, I bet. This is your home, and you went. Do you like Tetris? <laughs> I, I I open her car door. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, is it her car? <laughs> it was for a while. Yeah, there you go. She lives in LA. We don't even live together. Really? Yeah. So you're engaged and you don't live together? Mm, she's moving here in February. Moving to your apartment? No, we're going to get a new place. I'm going to get out of my lease and we're going to move. Some, my apartment's too small for two people. Right. So we're going to get somewhere somewhere like West Village, Grand Nature. You're going to move to the West Village? Or I'm sorry, uh, Upper West Side or something like that. Upper West Side. East Village right now. Stay in, the, stay in the city. Yeah. I yeah. I think I want her to like live in the city. I think I want, I want to start somewhere calm with like a elevator. Somewhere like she can feel safe, you know? Yeah. She's from Seattle, but then L.A. She only lived in L.A. for like a year. Yeah. She's not safe. She can always call that guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I, like, I like how I'm like, I want to protect my girl. I'll get her a doorman. <laughs> yeah, you'll, get, you'll hire a man. <laughs> Listen. You know, another thing I say out loud that I'm like, fuck, did I say that? I did say that. I want her to feel safe. So I want to hire a building with men that work there that look like other men that she married on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I play my video games on the A train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we played video games one night together for like four hours straight, yeah. and it was awesome. I remember she picked me up from a comedy club to drive me back from like Oxnard. I was doing Oxnard in Cal- uh, California. She drove there like over an hour to pick me up so that we could have a date night. And she put up a Nintendo sixty four on a projector in her bedroom. Yeah, and then set up snacks and got like edibles, and we played Mario Kart. For like hours, and I'm like, this is great. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and then sure uh, got a real wet. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I'm really excited to have sex with her too. I have, you haven't. No. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Don't do that. That hurt my heart. I almost fucking had a heart attack. I almost called her. I was you bitch. <laughs> Um, well, another thing that I want to talk to you about, yeah. you, you, um, you had cancer. No, I had a tumor. Was they it, didn't know was it was like a 50, 50 shot. It was, you, they, it might've been cancer. What, what, where was it? It was right here. On your neck. Did it come out? It was like in my uh, jaw. Could you, could you see it? You could see it. From stage? Yeah. Did you have to write a joke about it? I tried to, but you know how hard it is. Like, that's a hard topic to bring up. What was the joke? What was it? Can I hear it? You remember it? No, because it was. I, I think I was talking about it while I was getting it. Like while I was getting it. I know what you guys are thinking. <laughs> what the fuck is that on the side of his face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I started it. Creed. <clears throat> no, but I had like I just kept like it kept growing. And right. Like, blue. I was right after I went, got cheated on. I moved into my friend's like clot like office. Uh, fucking God. <laughs> yeah. God hates you. It was a rough. It was, I was crying in my car. A I mean, lot. dude. First of all, you got cheated on, and then you got a tumor. Yeah. On and your neck? Yeah, like right here. Oh my, do you think you got the tumor from all the stress? I, th- I think it added to it, for sure. I yeah. think it exacerbated it, for sure. Really? Yeah, yeah. So what, what, now you must have freaked out, right? I freaked out. My insur- I had insurance, too, and they said we can only cover this much, so I still had to pay like 40 grand really? for it to get it removed, because it was considered cosmetic, yeah. and anesthesia was considered a, uh, a volunteer, so that I had to pay for anesthesia, I had to do all that stuff. But then, you know David Drake? He's a comic uh, in New York. He runs Community You Should Know. He did a oh yeah, uh, I know that. Yeah, he did a GoFundMe, um, and then it got like ten grand right away. And then it was like then it went to like fifteen. Like they just kept going, and I'm like, that's amazing. And it was like it's so they so people raised the money to get it taken like, out. Kind of yeah. I still had to like I still 
paid it off. It took me like five years to pay it off. Right. Yeah. They, I, did they t- did they know when did they find that it wasn't cancer? It, so they they did like a biopsy and they're like it's a sixty percent chance it's not. And he's like, they're like, so technically you could leave it in. If it does grow, you'd want to maybe take, I go, it's been growing. Like it was literally the size of a He pea. said you can let it grow? The first doctor I went to was a dick. He barely had his foot in the door. Like, yeah, if you want to take care of it, you can. You have to go do this, this, and that. Like it was less than 30 seconds he was in the room. And it was, I was like, what? And then I went to a different doctor. He's like, because the guy that I originally went to was like, you're going to lose function on the side of your face forever. Oh God. It's tied into all your nerves. Went to another doctor that was like 20 years younger than him and was like, nah, we'll get it out. No problem. And I was like relieved. And they got it out, no problem. I was in the, I was uh, recovered. I went from the hospital to Michigan, like I was in Chicago, and I went from they, my parents picked me up, and I was just recovering there for like two months, and it was fine. Really, did, worked out. Did you get to keep it? I asked him to keep it. He goes, "No, when they take it out, is their property." Oh, they own it. They own it. Is this the GoFundMe? Oh yeah, yeah. No, yeah. oh, let me see this. Who's that? That's me. That's you. Yeah. Oh, you look so different, dude. Uh oh, in a go- bad way. I love that you didn't put the tumor hey, side on. <laughs> Jeff is that the tumor you're holding? <laughs> so young. I know. This was 10 years ago, I think. I know it sounds scary, like an Avenged Sevenfold album, but it's not. What it is is a face tumor. I haven't seen this. Wow. Do you show it? That's what I said. The problem is, it's uh, up in my nerves. No. I you did, you put, put it in the shadows? I did as a joke on the GoFundMe. He said, if you donate $10 or more, you get a sliver. Really? And people were like, where... Like, where's my sliver? Yeah. I, you never gave him a sliver? No. It's, you it should have sent him a piece of ham. <laughs> I could have. You just should have sent out pieces of ham. Dude, I think it was, yeah, I think, I don't know. Nobody would have known. I got another one up here. Oh, you got another one? It's like a cyst, I think, or something. Oh. It's like a big ball. You, really? Mm. What are you going to do with that? I got to take a look. I, a doctor looked at it. I was like, it's probably fine. Yeah? Yeah. The same one? No, no, no. Different. Go back to that young one that was like, I'll take I it know. out. Don't, yeah. go to, don't go to one. It's fine. I know, because I want to get the hair surgery, and I think I got to get, get the cyst out of my head first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a lot to do this year. Yeah. got to get married. <laughs> you got to get hair. Are you going to get the uh, the space wig? What's that? Uh, hair transplants. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I was trying to go to the one that everyone's going to. Yeah. That everyone, up there, but it's like a year wait. I want to do the front. I want to do the back because I put like topic in the back because right. I'm bald in the back. Yeah. So I got to like put like pepper in the back and shit. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's photos. There's photos of you bald. Oh, like there's times like I've had videos of, like where I'm at the start or whatever I didn't cover it up good enough and like yeah. I bent down and I'm like oh yeah I I preempted everything I shaved it before people saw me as bald I used to shave my head it's yeah. that wasn't a good look for me yeah a little too uh, sick. No, more like I had opinions. You look like you should have a GoFundMe all the time. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 it's too chubby to look. You like look it. like you had opinions. Yeah, what like you, you know, what I mean? look racist basically. Oh, you look did. A little, yeah. You look like the leader or something. Yeah. Yeah. No, like, not, never. I never look like the leader. Oh, you just the side I guy. I don't look like the guy at the top of the picnic table at the prison. <laughs> no. You know the shot caller. No. Uh, you're the guy that cleans his underwear. Yeah, yeah. I'm the the guy that goes, okay, boss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so when they took it out, did, did they find, they found out it wasn't cancer, right? Mm-hmm. How long did that take? Uh, pretty quickly. I remember being like, okay, good. Because they were confident everything was removed. So they're like, we're not worried about it. There's yeah. no signs of a metastasis. Like if it was or anything like that, they did a lot of blood work, a lot of all this stuff. And they were pretty confident. And then it was like, I want to say like two weeks later, three weeks later or something like that. They're yeah. like, yeah, it's all good. And then I went for a follow up and everything looked good. That's terrifying. What a shit couple years you had. It was rough. It was really rough. Yeah. yeah. Terrible. Uh, that's a fucking terrible couple years. And now you're killing it. It's going well, yeah. It I mean, feels good. You're killing it. How did you How did you fucking pop off? You know what I mean? Because back when I came up, you had to get on TV and yeah. you had to have a show or you had to be on something. And that's how you become... You know, you popped off. Now you 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 kind of do it on your own. Yeah, dude, you know what it was is uh, I remember I did Late Show when I first moved here, like the first year I did. Yeah, I, w- I did the Late Show, and it was I did not do well. Um, is that? Can we watch that? No, no, do not watch that. You can watch it, it afterwards if no, you Google it. You can, it's on the internet. Can I just say something? I bombed on Late Night twice. Did you bombed? Really? Twice. Yeah. Which Late Night? Carson Daly. Whoa! Remember that? Yeah, buddy, I bombed so bad the first time. <laughs> I actually, I, I, I'm so used to having, um, I'm so used to having the mic like this. Yeah, and then doing this with the cord. Okay, you know, when, it's like my thing. I was bombing so bad it was a wireless thing. So I had the mic like this, and I kept going like this, but there was no thought, so I was just going like this. 
Oh I was no! Just doing this, I came off my my agent who was there. He went, "What the fuck was this?" Oh no! And I, I go, "I don't know. I guess it's the thing I do." Uh. And there was no mic cord. The second time I did it, I go, "I'm not doing." I'm not, I did it again. I did. I I wound up doing this. So when I find I finally did the Tonight Show, I finally did it. I said, "I need a corded mic." Cord, yeah. And they were like, "What?" I go, "I want a corded mic." The guy walked up to me. He goes. Who's hooking the quarter mic up? The sound, the whatever he is. He's like, I haven't hooked one of these up in 19 years. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I did Lay Show and it was not, it was not great. Nothing happened. You know what I mean? I remember even like, I forget who it was. It was a, a comic here. Can we watch it? No, it's bad. Just watch one. I was so one nervous. Listen, I was. Dude, I bombed too. We can watch mine if you want. Mm, all right, we can watch both. Next but... time you're on, we'll watch mine. Let's watch his now, though. <laughs> uh, it's either that or we watch your wife's fifth marriage. <laughs> you pick. Dealer's choice. <laughs> watch them both. The same she was on. Time. She was on a show and <laughs> she was on a show in Indonesia. Did you know that? What? I am worried we're playing too much copyrighted content, so I might think it's a bad idea. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. Oh, shucks. We can put this up on punchup.live. But then, yeah, I was doing that, and then I was just, like, struggling in New York for a while. And then I uh, um, started doing, oddly enough, cruise ships. Yeah. And that is what made me kind of expand my material a lot more. Right. Was having, like, five different 30-minute shows. Which yeah. Just, like, Bob, like, you know, and then I started doing, you know, like, to, like, kind of elongate the sets a little bit was doing a little more crowd work right. and then uh like which was more just like introing my own jokes yeah it wasn't like what do you do what do you do what do you do and then um uh i did a show at like some benefit show with some comics and uh one of them was brassard matthew brassard i was hosting and he's like i'm I, you should host at the cellar I know he the is it's it's amazing to me matthew he's great no let me finish <laughs> that He's not gay. <laughs> <laughs> he got engaged too. Yeah, it fucking knocked my dick off. Yeah. Oh yeah. Why? I thought he was no. Oh, a hundred percent. Really? Yeah. He. I guess he's just so sexy, such a good-looking da- guy. Yeah. That he comes off as a little, uh, a little feminine. He's is really sexy. He used to date Katie too. He, actually, your uh, wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love. Pull that. it up. Pull it up. <laughs> It'd be funny if we pulled a clip and I was just like me. Listen, I love you more than you ever fucking know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love you too, Bobby. And then she just Jew jumps me. There's, What's it called? It's <laughs> Jew jumping. Uh, <laughs> no, Matthew is. He's such a funny guy. A great. He's guy. great. He's awesome. Gorgeous. Yeah. I don't know but why look, he's uh, not on TV. We did. Uh, we hiked in like Vegas, and then we did like a video together. And I'm like, let's keep my body out of it. Let's, <laughs> let's focus on yours a little bit. Uh, but then he wrecked me to the cellar, and then um, it was like I got a couple more recommendations for hosting. Never got a host spot. He's like, don't ask. Just, don't. just, just take what she gives you. Don't ask. Like, mm-hmm. and she's gonna ask you to host. Just yeah. say you'll do whatever. Yeah. And then uh, the seller started sending me clips. I never recorded myself before. Learned how to edit, and it was like I think I just come up with like a, a regimen of like posting this amount of times per day, just throwing it at the wall, you know. Yeah. And uh, and that was pretty much it. And then it kind of like it's funny how like agents and managers and all these people, they don't look for like. A diamond. They don't look for somebody like on the rise. Like, ooh, I think this person has potential. They want somebody who's already doing their potential, and they want to jump on top. Like, they want to be like, hey, I'm going to go with you on this one. Well, the days of somebody uh, f- looking and seeing something and building on that, and then using their whatever they have over here with that person's mm-hmm. and building it, and then presenting it, and then making a star. Uh, you know, seeing something. Th- those days are gone. You got to do it. You got to do it your own way a little bit. You got to make your own efforts. I think. Yeah, I mean, I think I think agents, you know, I mean, it, it's just such a fast pace. People come up and go away so fast now, too. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's like people are famous and then they're not Yeah, fast. Yeah. As opposed to back in the day, you know, it was a little slower getting up there. It but sticks around. I don't know. I think it sticks around, though, too, because you have the internet. Like, there's footage. Well, the problem is, is this. People get famous off the internet, off of clips. Mm-hmm. And you do a lot of crowd work clips. Mm-hmm. It's have, just a content illusion, is what my friend brought up, which I, I love that he said that. What do you mean? Explain that. That if you like, if you if I do a set at the cellar, I'll maybe interact with the crowd once, maybe twice max, or right. I'll just like I'll lead into a bit by being like, oh, you know, we dropped out. Me and her dropped out of college, and I'm like, you go to college, and then I'll make a joke about what, you know, what he did versus what he you know, what he went to school for versus what he did. Then I move on. Yeah. But yeah. the content illusion makes it people think that like when I walk on stage, I'm just going like, so who's got a weird shirt, you know? Well, the 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 like I think that the 
what happens with a lot of these people is they do these crowd work clips, they get these fans, they get into the fucking stupid algorithm, and then they show up and they got a sold out hour show and they stink. They st- yeah. as a stand up. Or they call end friends. Yeah. And then they have just they just do twelve minutes. <laughs> yeah. And then they have like all their friends kind of fill that time. Yeah. So it's it that's and and that's gonna kill comedy. Yeah. But when you show great. if you can have you I, I've seen you perform at the cellar, you're fucking funny. You Thanks. can you know, if you, I think if you're working at the cellar and just doing crowd work, they wouldn't work you. Mm-mm. They wouldn't. No. no, I mean even hosts, you know, hosts can do that a little bit more because then the 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 burden lies on them a little bit to yeah. keep the the audience good. Yeah, they got to keep it fresh. But yeah, every the weird things happen, different things happen with every comedian. So yeah, you do. But I think that you know, if you as long as you have the material, mm-hmm. I always say I remember when my crowd work was better than my material, and I was fucked. Yeah, so I stopped doing crowd work. Yeah. I stopped. I was like, I'm out because I do crowd work and they're with me. As soon as I go into a joke, they're like, why is he talking? <laughs> yeah, 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 what, yeah. Is he, trying to, is he trying to sell us something? It was like there, weird. There are times. I've been on stage before where like I've done more, more like way more material than crowd work in a show. And then I'll do like a quick bit into the crowd. And then I'll hear the laughs. I'm like, that's, that's the big ones. Those yeah. are the big laughs. And I, will, <laughs> I, know, but cra- I mean, look, I love crowd work. I love going up there. You're sitting in the pocket. Yeah. You're letting shit happen, but if you can intertwine your jokes with crowd work, where they don't know, they think that there was all crowd work. Yeah, I have people come up all the time, dude. Was that all made up? Yeah, no. They, I love when people think that. It's yeah, so that's it's like a compliment. That's what you should be able to do. Intertwine those two where they don't know. That's the illusion I think you can create. Yeah, I mean, I respect somebody who goes up and just does jokes. Right, doesn't even acknowledge them. I love that too. But for me, I, I have to be in the moment. Like Danny last night. He was coming up to me and he's like, there's a guy in the front row who's, I go, I don't want to know. No, I don't, I don't like that either. I don't want to, I don't, because now the pressure's, I just want it to come out. I might never say anything right. to that person. You know, I mean, he was just doing me a solid. Yeah. Do you have that guy up? <laughs> Wait, oh, he, do you want me to pull it up? Yeah, pull it up. Uh, so uh, What is it? Give me a minute because it's on my phone and I have to get to the computer. Yeah, you can do the, all that in your head. <laughs> well, I was letting you know it was going to take more than 30 seconds I was going to just say it's going to take a minute <laughs> It's on my phone And I got it there last night Because I went home late from the bar And I just moved And I, I got is that Where was your, this? Uh, this was last night at the, uh, the uh, Pussycat My Tuesday night shows Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah I was going to ask you about that How's that? It's great It's awesome um, But uh, So he came I was like, dude, this guy blah, blah. And I was like, I don't I don't want to see it what was the guy? Know. What did he do? He was sleeping in the front row. Oh. Yeah, but Danny was on, and Joe was on, <laughs> so I get it. <laughs> Joe Russell went up and hey, guys, what'd you have? It was a 7 o'clock show. This guy What's your confusing. favorite food? It was Night before Quill? the show started. <laughs> oh, no. It was before the show started. He was just tired. Oh, it's so He was tired. He woke up for the show. That's good. But I just didn't want to know it. But I wound up somehow incorporating him in and blah, blah, blah. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But- if I know about it, it will kind of fuck me up. It does. I was in London, and uh, I, I, I always I, – people will say, like, I'm like, oh, have you seen my stuff? They're like, yeah. And I'm like, if I have somebody opening for me that I've never met. And I give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm like, hopefully they're not going to go up there and just, you know, berate the front row. Crowd work, This yeah. guy did it, um, and he just went into the front row hard. Yeah. And I was just like, all right, man. Because they have they ask for intermissions in, in London. Yeah, in, in, in Europe, they that. have intermissions. I hate that. So really? I told him. I found a way around it. Where I go, you're going to do 15, and then you're going to do an intermission, and then do five, and then bring me up, and I'm going to have no intermission. Right. And so he would do all crowd work, and then he would <clears throat> just like come back out and be like, anyway, so this guy's weird shirt, and like made fun of them all. So I was just nice, and I'm like, hey, just to let you know, like, is there any way you can avoid the front row? Like, if you're going to ask him questions, like, oh, is anybody married? You can go into the crowd, but the front row is kind of like, there's only ones I can see. Yeah. You know? So he goes out, and then I see him doing crowd work, and I go, what the hell? He's talking to the second row. And I'm like, he took it literally, like, don't talk to the front row. Yeah. And that's, that can be the worst. Because when you're on the road, do you, do you, like, hate if your openers do, like... I hate, I, hate, I've, I hate this. When they mention my name, you know what I mean? Like, while, and during their set? Yeah, like, I yelled at Danny last week because he mentioned my name three times in his act. Robert Kelly's coming out, you know. I, but Danny does it in a funny way. He doesn't do it in a shitty way. He, um but like there are comics that go, oh, you didn't like that? Well, I guess you'll like Robert Kelly. I guess you're here to see Robert Kelly. Yeah. I, don't worry. Bobby's coming out in a minute. Yes. You'll like him. It's I like, do not like that. Oh, or Bobby, Bobby's going to get you. I fucking hate you for doing that. Yeah. because then Keep you're, my name yeah. out your mouth. Yeah. 
I, yeah. I don't like that. I've had that happen before, too. Like, I know you guys don't like me. I'm not Jeff. And I'm like, don't do that. It's not on me. It's not on them. It's on you. Yeah. Own your shit. Deal with it. Don't bring me into it. I don't want my, my own. I want my name said one time. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Robert Kelly. And then I come out. Well, what happened that the night he was talking about was I have a bit about going to see a comedy show when I was 12. Mm -hmm. And I go, and in the story, I go, and the headliner of the show was a super, super dirty comic. Yeah. And that's the story of, of me seeing a comedy show when I was 12. And Bobby just heard, and the headliner of the show was a super dirty comic. Mm -hmm. And out of context, and he thought. Well, there was after you mentioned my name twice. Once. Twice. I listened back to the video. Listen to it again. I'll send it. I'll play it on the podcast. Play it on the fucking podcast. You said my name twice. You said my name in your bit. And this is another thing middlers do, or openers do. They leave the green room door open. They just walk in, and they don't shut it. Oh, okay. I hate that. <laughs> you, when the green room door is open? They just walk in and leave it open. So, like, fans and shit are just walking by. Mm. You know what I mean? I think it depends on the context of the, the green I don't give right? a fuck. Shut the fucking door. And then when they leave, they leave it open. So I got to get up. I just li I like that little green room. Mm -hmm. Come in. I'm not that guy. I know comics, like, they kick the openers out. Like, right. they got to go find stuff. I'm not that guy, man. This is your club, your hometown. Come in, hang out. We'll shoot the shit, whatever. Yeah. I don't mind any of that shit. But just shut the fucking door and don't mention my name. Okay. You know? Oh, here we go. What's this? This is last night. Oh, shit. He's fucking out. Oh, no. This guy's front row. Beginning, I mean, listen to how loud it is. Oh, wow. It's this all, that's guy, a bunch of waters, too. They were done drinking at this This point. guy's fucking out. But I found out he came from a long way to be to the show to see me. Oh. Uh, and he was just exhausted from coming, so he took a nap. Oh, that's... Oh. But Danny was like, dude, look at this guy. And I was like, I don't want to see it. I don't want to fucking see it. You like running an hour in there, the intimacy of that and stuff? Um, well, I, I, you know, look, man, I was here seven nights a week for 25 years. Wow. I, you know, seven nights a week. I was here every night. But I got a, I got a family now. I live in Westchester. So, the, you know, it's good for me to come down. When they opened that club up, I, I mean, I was here when it was just this, this comedy cellar. Yeah. And I remember when they opened up the VU... And then when they did the Pussycat, that was just a lounge yeah. that we all used to hang out in late night. It was awesome. We used to go to from here to the, in the VU, and then we'd just go to the, the lounge really? and the bar, and the comics would be there until 3 in the fucking morning. I remember the bar being open with the pool table. Yeah, the, the, the lounge was the shit. You could bring people, go up in the little balcony, hang out with people. It was awesome. It was fun. That's cool. And then when he turned it into a club... I I was I did uh, a live YKWd like I was like I was the first guy doing live podcasts. Wow. Uh, yeah, I, I started doing these live podcasts with uh, Lewis and Dan and Joe. Mm -hmm. We did them at the VU. We did what we started at the Pussycat. Um, we did the first live podcast, and then I was like, dude, this is a great place to run an hour because nobody was going there. Yeah. And he and I asked Noam, and and uh, he was like, yeah, you can run it. So. And then uh, I believe Colin did it, and then and it's just kind of a place I can go. My fans can come see me locally, and nice. you know I can run my hour because I can't come down Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, I how far is your drive in? It's like fifty minutes. Uh, that's, that's, that can be annoying, especially it's, if it's like two spots after eleven or some shit. Well, I got a kid too, you know, yeah. so it's like a lot of times I'm trying to get home. Uh, to be with them, you know. Yeah, um, a couple married guys, you know. Well, not couple yet, <laughs> not yet, not yet. I mean, you know what I mean. We're gonna have to wait to see. Will you please come back on when you get divorced? Uh, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> no, Cause, no, because I won't. I, will you I'll come back on when I get married? I, I'll have I want, her on. Will you invite me to the wedding? You want to go? I will crack the fuck up if she uses the painting thing in her vows. <laughs> You'll hear me going, what the fuck? I think she did say something similar to that to me, though. <laughs> what? Tell me what it is. Please tell me. Please. I think I can look it up. <laughs> Please tell me. I will fucking shit in my pants right now. What's your paint color? Paint? Yeah. Paint, paint color. Paint ball. Oh, paint this, is, color. this is dead air. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's not dead air. This is fantastic. It could have been... Uh, we'll edit this right out and cut right to you reading this. 
color paint. I the, can't find I it. I love that we're, we're CSIing this it, whole fucking If you find it, screenshot it, send it to me, and we'll put it in. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Either that, or we're going to put her sixth <laughs> wedding vow video. There's, there's only two now that <laughs> I know of. There's two. There's one. I know there's one. She got engaged. And she was on Fuck Island. <laughs> <laughs> fuck boy. Fuck boy. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck Island. Soon to be. It does sound so much worse. Fuck old guy Island. <laughs> <laughs> fuck man Island. Uh, well, listen, dude. This is for you. Thank you so much. This is... I just want you to know one real. thing. real. I want you to know one thing. I want you to know one thing. If it doesn't work out, and it's probably not, it's probably not going to work out, I'm here for you. You. Thank you. You. Thank you. I want you to be the paint in my painting. <laughs> I want you to be the paint in the paintings that we're going to... What did she say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. She's gonna, he's going to paint her or something. I don't know, man. <laughs> Does she paint? No. <laughs> she doesn't even paint? No. And she used a painting reference? I think it was from a lyric. That's what it says. She, oh, says really? she likes a lyric of a song where it's okay. like, you paint the color in my world. I want you to, I want you to text me the, her vows okay. after the wedding. I want to know if there's any... You got to go through the vows on both of them <laughs> and imagine? make sure she's not... Bobby officiate, can officiate it. I will. I'm, a, I'm legal in New York. He did Joe's. I will do that. I married Joe Russell and his wife. Really? Yeah. I married Joe Liz, too. Did you make a, make a crack? No. No? What do you mean a crack? You do crack wise. No, I, I was... I, Joe, was I funny? Yeah, you were funny. Yeah, I was pretty funny. Good. good. That's but good. I was, I, was, that. I, I, I think I, I was funny and sincere, right? Yeah, you did a great job. You Thank really you, did. buddy. Yes. I'm going to listen to her vows now. How funny yeah. would it be if she were doing the vows? It's, it's, and then it's the, probably going to happen, She dude. quotes it in the middle of our wedding. I go, I fucking knew it. Buddy, you <laughs> came on my podcast and found out at 2 o'clock in the afternoon she had another marriage. <laughs> that wasn't a marriage. That was fake. It was. You don't know that. Look at the comments. Buddy, you got to let me know. <laughs> look at the comments. Are there comments? <laughs> oh, no, I'm scared to look at that. There were people that were mad. How many moms has she met? <laughs> Probably a, a couple. She, she's a very affable, <laughs> outgoing person. Buddy, she seems wonderful. I'm just busting <laughs> the balls. It's going to be Thanks, awesome. Man. It's great that you fucking found somebody. It's awesome. It's, it's, it alleviates a lot of like, you know. Yeah. Like it's like I found somebody and it's like having a having somebody to talk to every night. Yeah. Just, plays video games. That's great. You know I, what I mean? I'm going to study wildlife now. I know this though. It. You better run through that computer and make sure those DMs don't pop up. They're all gone. I haven't DM'd anybody since I met her. Like I, I want you to like, go on a computer and look for a file that says <laughs> taxes 2017. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> look for look for some weird file. No, that doesn't make sense. No, I don't even want to look because I know there's nothing. But also, no, there's a file wedding vows 2003, 2004, <laughs> 2005. Turns out he is right. There's what? A, uh, first comment in the mic. Why am I going to keep the, telling you that? The first comment is, uh, this is so weird and kind of disrespectful to an actual wedding ceremony. Boom. Yeah. Wasn't real. Yep. She didn't love him. Looked it. She's been practicing a lot. <laughs> she sold me. Well, it's going to work out. I hope you, I hope you guys, <laughs> yeah. I really, I really the do. The more you say that, the more I believe. <laughs> no, dude, it's going to work out. Look at me. Okay. Say it. It's going to work out. <laughs> Everything's fine. Uh, we got your dates here. Can you make that a little bigger for me? Here we go. Check this out, man. The Factory, St. Louis, sold out. Uh, Orpheum, sold out. We got uh, Madison, sold out. We got Minneapolis, sold out. We got Toronto, Austin, sold out. So Houston, sold out. Richmond, Virginia, sold out. We got New York, sold out. We got Denver, sold out. Salt Lake City, sold out. Vancouver, sold out. We have all this shit sold out. We got Miami sold out. We got Indianapolis sold out. We got Grand Rapids sold out. That's awesome. I'm excited about That's it. That's yeah. all. Look at all those shows, man. Yeah. You should go to all those shows. Yeah. I, we're about to announce the- uh, Florida, with, um, Vancouver, Indianapolis, Grand Rapids- you should go. They're all sold out. That's amazing, dude. You Thanks, can't get man. tickets. You can't get tickets to any of them. Yeah, they're, we're announcing a world tour for next year, starting after. I'm going to be in Cleveland this weekend. You're doing a world. I mean, this is pretty wild. I mean, it is nuts. You do have you do have one hot one that's not sold out. But listen, the that's thing December. is December. That's December. <laughs> <laughs> I got time. Ah, uh, dude, it's make sure. What's your website? Uh, JeffRCurry.com. 
jeffacurry.com. He is soon to be married to the woman of his dreams. Yeah. What was the pause? Uh, I was trying to think of something to say that was beautiful. That was that was great. And I wanted out of dramatic pause. You can go to my, I'm in Minneapolis, not sold out. You can go to Point Pleasant, not sold out. You can go to Jersey, not sold out. You can go back to Point Pleasant, still not sold out. You can go to Beacon, might not happen. Wichita, Kansas, not sold out. Fort Smith, not sold out. Plain, New Jersey, Morristown, New Jersey. You can go to Kansas City, not sold out. Uh, I should have, my tour should be called Not Sold Out. <laughs> that that sell would out. be a fun tour name. That is, Not Sold Out. Uh, I, will you make that for me, that's Joe, a, the Not a, Sold Out tour? It's a great poster. Thank you. May, will you make that for me, Joe? Something rocking, something awesome. Anyways, go. go to punchup.live slash Robert Kelly for all my dates. Punchup.live, the best thing that happened to stand-up comedy in years. It's it's the best. What is it? I haven't. Seen it, it is a. Uh, it's like a Patreon, YouTube, Instagram. It's it's your own little page where people can go, and it actually tells them when you're going to be in their area. You get their email, so you can tag, you know, email them. Hey, I'm coming by. I'll be there. And you can put uncensored. They don't censor a thing. There's no algorithm that puts you. To, your fans come there. They see your stuff that you want them to see. That's it. It's the best. You should hook up with them. It's yeah. it's the future for us because, and I promote them all the time. People think that I own the company. I don't. I love it. And they have an app now. You can send your own emails out right from your phone directly to your fans. That's great. So instead of everybody else getting all their information, YouTube, mm-hmm. Instagram, Facebook, you get it. That's and good. you post it everywhere else, but you know you get uncensored stuff. They don't censor anything. As long as you're trying to be funny, it's great, and it's up there. So I usually try to send people over there instead of, you know, making everybody else a fucking millionaire. Yeah. You know, send them over there, you know, so I can put my stuff up there and it's all me. Um, and they're not going to get sidetracked with a bunch of fucking, you know, some guy shooing a horse and, uh, you know, two Polynesian guys making a, a beautiful house out of mud. You know what I mean? <laughs> they're just there watching my stuff. Uh, Danny and Joe, what do you got? Uh, follow me on Instagram at Danny Braff and come to Comedy at Verve in Somerville, New Jersey, the third Thursday of every month. And uh, this is Joe. You can go to The Cheese Show. Just go to YouTube, type in The Cheese Show, and we interview comics, and we eat a nice cheese, and you learn a lot, too. Yeah, and you've been married for how long? Uh, two years now. How many shows has your, your wife been on? How many cheese shows? No, how many shows where she got married has your wife been on? Oh, uh, zero. Right. That's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, uh, and make sure we're going to go to Patreon right now. We're going to have questions for you real quick. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you want to be part of the Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash Robert Kelly, and you can be part of the uh, the ladybugs over there for the YKWD. We do an extra, extra episode every week. We do uh, p- questions for the fans, and your questions you can ask them on the Patreon, and we ask the people right here. So you can head over there now. If not... Do me a favor, if you're listening to this, hit the like button. If you're watching on YouTube, just hit the subscribe button. Just, just do it. Don't be a bitch. Hit this. If you don't hit the subscribe button right now, you're a bitch. You're a, you're a lady bitch or you're a man bitch. And they're both bitches. Uh, we'll see you guys next week on You Know What, Dude?